Hey there, it's your MC operator here. And I don't know if you can see this large grin, but uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm excited today. A good friend of mine stopped by today and he brought some by just to kind of let me look at it. And I said, you gotta let me do a quick video. Um, he who chooses to stay nameless, uh, I thank you very much. But anyway, um, and I know, as I told you guys before, you know, I'm going to do everything as a, as a Californian's point of view. Um, but um, this is going to be a little different because this is not something that uh, most Californians can achieve. But uh, we're going to have fun real, for, real quick. Anyway, um, but let me show clear first and then we'll get right into it. So we are clear on the firearm, nothing, no magazine in the firearm no ammunition in the magazine we have a safe firearm you are looking at the STI Staccato P although they have just now kind of going to they change their name officially to Staccato so this is the Staccato P uh, which is their uh, first uh, flagship uh, pretty much duty weapon so uh, such a popular line they actually changed the name so STI cut their teeth first on uh, 1911 kind of race guns for competition. Um, high quality, uh, very, very nice firearms, but uh, again, mostly built for competition. So this is their first sort of uh, venture into the duty uh, firearm for law enforcement and military, and obviously for civilian life outside California, that is. Uh, because this is not on our California roster. But being that my buddy has his own uh, company and FFL and, you know, <laughs> everything's fun that's guns, um, he has access to a lot of things that most of us just do not. So, you know, but I'm a brother, so I get to play with it for a minute. So I said, you got to let me make a video. I've got to show, you know, my uh, viewers what what we have in the house today. Um, speaking of the house, um, you can probably see too, I've changed venues. Uh, so um, the my office garage is about 200 degrees right now due to the fact that we've sort of hit a, a heat wave. So I've kind of brought it inside and I've kind of landed in my wife's area. So uh, she was kind enough to kind of step aside and let me do my work from here for a bit until the weather permits me going back out to my office. Um, but with that being said, let's talk about this beautiful thing here um the staccato p um is uh again like i said a pretty much dominating the uh duty 1911 slash 2011. this is a 2011 uh, which is actually uh coined and um pretty much that term is owned by uh sti uh, 2011 is um, basically their iteration of the 1911. Um, so it's a double stack. Um, it's not your single stack 1911 like most companies have. So they have uh, patented the 2011. So they get to put it on their firearms and no one else gets to play with it. But so this has a capacity. Uh, I believe they come with three uh, 18 round magazines. But I think you also have an option if you choose to to supplement one of those with a 20 round magazine and the magazines are not cheap they are extremely expensive so um but again we we're talking about a high-end 1911 now if you were to uh live in another state and and make a move on this firearm this is their uh staccato p they also have a staccato p duo uh, which is uh, milled for a red dot some of your popular red dots such as the uh, RMR and the uh, 507C, which is, of course, as you guys heard in my videos, is my favorite uh, RDS. But um, this one is not cut for the uh, red dot. So it is working with a fiber, act fiber, act <laughs> fiber optic front sight, I'm sorry, and a uh, adjustable rear sight. Um, it is a 4.4 inch uh, stainless steel bull barrel 
and you can see right on the side you know nice handsomely done the Scott P on, on the side um, it comes with uh, ambidextrous safeties uh, which are uh, extremely positive you can actually hear that engage and disengage um, they also uh, have polymer uh, grips and these grips are interchangeable so you can actually uh, have them removed and put a smaller one on if you like or you know a thicker one people with larger hands you know like I said this is pretty thick for a grip for some of my size hands but but it's, it still feels comfortable um, the polymer is a little slick for my liking um, but I definitely can work with it it has a little bit of gnarling on there and of course uh, STI is based out of uh, Texas so it's got the Texas star um, nice little American flag the uh, coating is a DLC uh, so diamond like coating so very durable uh, it's gonna withstand a lot of holster uh, wear it's got nice front serrations very deep and very functional um, it also has uh, the same in the rear so your press checks are super simple and that slide is just like ball bearings now um, obviously this is not mine so I've not you know done any lube and I'm not really sure uh, what uh, this gentleman has done as far as shooting it. I don't, I don't believe it's been shot yet. I believe it's uh, He's still contemplating whether he's gonna keep it or sell it, but you know, or maybe he's waiting for my birthday in July I'm not sure <laughs> Yeah, okay, but anyway um, But it's just even without any sort of lubrication. It's just really smooth um, You can tell the craftsmanship is outstanding um, As far as the um, the trigger the trigger I believe is polymer but it's got a nice uh, little gnarling on the front so your finger won't slide off it's got a little bit of stippling and gnarling on the front of the trigger guard as well it's got a nice high undercut uh, so you can get high on the firearm um, obviously uh, we talked about the ambidextrous safeties but it's also got the grip safety with the memory bump as well uh, skeletonized trigger pardon me hammer and trigger <laughs> but hammer um, and again a full-length guy rod along with the uh, four inch bull barrel 4.4 inch full bull barrel um, adjustable rear sight just a little bit of gnarling on the front uh, also a little gnarling on the back I mean it's just quality I mean, it feels great in the hand and like I said, you know, this is not going to be a long video, it's not going to be too depth, it's just, I just wanted it in my hands for a while, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so, yeah, nothing like a nice quality 2011, uh, and it just, oh, man, it just feels so good. But anyway, just wanted to share, nice little short video, um, you guys have an amazing night. <laughs> Cheers, thank you.